Hey guys, uh, today we're in Kunovice at BRM Aero factory and uh, today we'll be talking about the engines which are used on the Bristol aircraft and here is 915 Rotex and I have two engineers which uh, develop and make the assembly of uh, both engines and the aircraft components here at the factory. So, yep. can you introduce Hello. yourself? Hello, my name is Jakub. Um, I work here not very long uh, for most of the part, but I'm very familiar with the Bristol airplane. I work as a uh, development engineer here at uh, BRM Aero. And you? Hello, I am Tony. I am an aircraft engineer for Bristol. I work here about uh, six years and I mostly do uh, maintenance services, test flights, maintenance and also the assembly. assembly. Could you, uh, we spoke about uh, Rotex uh, 912 in the previous uh, video, now we have Rotex 915. Uh, can you uh, tell me more about this engine and uh, more about what we can do for uh, certain uh, periods of the maintenance, like 50 hour, 100 hour. What issues does this engine has and uh, what things have to be inspected carefully? The 915 is uh, more like complex engine uh, because it has fuel injection, turbocharging and everything improved uh, cooling. We first thing what uh, we do, uh, we do oil change. Yeah, it's, the oil tank looks the same yeah, as uh, it's, on it's 912. Really same, like, same volume yeah, as well? Okay. Same volume and it's same. Uh, next thing is uh, oil filter. The oil filter is exactly the same yeah, as on exactly, 912. Exactly the same. We uh, only use the genuine or ones. Then uh, we clean also the magnetic plug. That's all for the... 50 hour inspection? Yeah, on the, for the oil. Next, uh, we have the fuel system here. Uh, fuel system is on the right side or? It's, it's everywhere, you everywhere. Know. Uh, so we check uh, for uh, these connections, also on the, on the other side, and we check for the, all the hoses and tubes, if there is any leak or something. I think this we, is the fuel filter. This is the fine fuel filter. We change this every every inspection, you know, so every 50, 50 hour. hours. Okay. Uh, it's not so like on 912, you remove it, you no, clean no. it and then assemble but, back. Uh, we have another fuel filter. It's down there. The bottom one is reusable and this one we change the whole thing. We do change it every 50 hours and we clean the other one yeah. every 50 yeah, hours yeah, yeah. as well. We can check the pumps. They are main pumps and auxiliary pumps. So we check Main them Main pump is well. uh, like on the 912 on the engine or? Uh, no, no, no. It, it has uh, electric pumps. Electric, okay. Yeah. Check for, for general cleanness, uh, that there is no, no leakage. Uh, everything is, is tidy, secure, uh, that you don't see any kind of, let's say, anomaly uh, in, the, in the engine bay. Yeah, next thing uh, what we check is the engine frame or engine mounting for any cracks. We will check the silent blocks if, if they are uh, okay. Uh, we need to check every every corner of the of the exhaust systems. Next thing is the turbocharger. Turbo every 100 hours we need to to drain the oil catch sump that catches all the gunk from the oil and all the particles and uh, dirt. We check the turbocharger Visually, if they are not leaking oil or something. What about the spark plugs? How often do, do you change them? On 915? Yeah, we change them uh, after, after 100 uh, hours. Okay. And we need to use only the Rotax genuine ones. This air, is only the air, air duct for the intercooler. Air intake, okay. Yeah, uh, here uh, in the front you have uh, one one water uh, cooler. Radiator, yes. The gray one, the bottom one is uh, another. It's the second water cooling system. And this is the intercooler. Uh, here you can see two MAF sensors, mass airflow sensors. Do you have uh, like a sort of, uh, let's say, computer which connects to the yeah. engine and uh, uh, shows you mm -hmm. the data, the air? We have a control port uh, in the inside. Okay. So the, our electricians 
uh, came and uh, they plugged the computer on it and it's uh, and it's similar like on the car you know they can Start download uh, the the data errors, from the yes. ECU and they see uh, basically everything what the engine do do you need to program this engine like at certain period of uh, let's say service for example like this aircraft flew 100 hours mm -hmm. we need to do some like programming no, 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 no. or we just change we the just, oil we just do, do the control locks you know so and basically me as an owner of uh, bristol aircraft mm -hmm. with rotex 915 uh, you place those engines on non-certified aircraft yeah. as well. It means uh, I can do the maintenance uh, by myself, uh, yeah. well, under a maintenance program. Uh, so I can only change oil. If I don't have any issues, I don't need the computer. No, no. Yeah, it's correct. That's great. So 912 is like more simpler engine, but the core of the engine, you know, it's the same. Same. It's, it's like just the same the... engine, but with the fuel injection, turbocharging, I know that 915 has a uh, uh, TBO, time before overhaul, mm -hmm. uh, 1,200 hours. Uh, is that yeah. true? And it has 130 horsepower. This yeah, one. I think I think 135. Does it need to be like cooled down uh, yeah, yeah, after? Needs. When its uh, engine is heated and you want to shut it down, you need to wait two minutes in idle to cool down the turbocharger and everything and then you can shut it down. It's the same for everything that has turbocharging, you know, car, boat or plane. It definitely needs to be yeah. written in the checklist because yeah. uh, I know many pilots just like... So here we have uh, already 916 engine, which is brand new, let's say. Uh, it became available uh, on the market uh, not long time ago. Well, I can say it looks literally exactly the same as uh, 915, only the color of this parts is different, but maybe we have some technical differences. Yeah, Could the you? differences uh, for the 916 are that uh, it has more horsepower. It has, uh, 160. I think, 165, yeah, which is a lot. Turbo is bigger. You mean the turbocharger yeah. here? And it's different, different, uh, map in the ECU, you know, also have different gearbox, uh, gearbox yeah, because uh, in 916, you know, uh, you need to use only Rotax XPS oil. Why? Rotax Re is, uh, recommended. That is recommended uh, for the for the gear gearbox, you know. Well, so in terms of maintenance, uh, I can see that the oil tank uh, look the, looks the same. I would say the maintenance is like same yeah. For the 915 or 916, we change uh, the oil filter. Uh, it's a fuel filter. Oh, f yeah. fuel filter. So this is the fine one. This is the fine one. And the other one. Also, is we you can see here. Down here. Here is here are the pumps. One is main. One is uh, auxiliary. And here is uh, the other filter. You know, this is reusable. In terms of uh, spark plugs. Uh, do you replace them as well as uh, on 915? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 100 hours. Yeah, yes, it's everything same. And again, and the genuine and one. The Gen genuine one. Mm -hmm. Do we make anything uh, like no, settings no, no. for injection uh, or everything is controlled with the by injection ECU? and uh, with the mixture? Do the echo ECU the the things for us? The TBO of this engine is. 2000 hours, yeah. right? We on just install them on non certified the ultralight ones. So, if you maintain this engine, like change oil at the recommended uh, period, change spark plugs, maintain this engine, it has no problems. Yeah, right? I think it's reliable. It's reliable. Thank you very much for your time. It was sure. a great pleasure oh, to, yeah. welcome. to listen how to maintain this uh, aircraft and engines. Uh, so to sum up, on Bristol aircraft, you have three different options of the engines, of the Rotex engines. Uh, so as we have on this one is the Rotex 912, which has 100 horsepower. It can be installed on both certified and non-certified version. It has... Um, 100 uh, horsepower, 2000 hours uh, time between overhaul. It can be with carburetors and the IS version, which has uh, injection. Another option is uh, Rotex 915 
IS, uh, which uh, has 140 horsepower, uh, is turbocharged. Uh, it also has uh, uh, ECU, which uh, controls the work of the engine and injection system. This engine has 1,200 hours of time before overhaul. It can be installed on both uh, certified and non-certified version. It's a really reliable engine. And here is the newest version of the Rotex engine, Rotex 916, which has uh, 160 horsepower. Time before overhaul is 2000 hours. The difference between 915 and 916 is uh, really slight. It's only the turbocharger and the ECU what is different, but in general, aircraft engine as on 916 and on 915 looks exactly the same apart from the color which is white here and uh, blue on 915. Another difference, uh, this engine can be used only on non-certified aircrafts yet, but uh, hopefully soon uh, this air aircraft engine will be used on certified versions as well. To sum up, all of those three engines, 912, 915 and 916 are really reliable engines if you maintain them well. What do I mean by uh, well maintenance uh, is maintenance which is recommended by the, by the Rotex. So if you change the oil uh, every 50 hours and you do all the maintenance uh, procedures uh, which are recommended, the uh, engine needs just a replacement of spark plugs, oil, uh, oil filter and the fuel filter. The rest will work perfectly fine. Fly with comfort and safety. Choose Bristol.